Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to do brake drum to brake disc conversion on Classic Mini. Right, so here's our drum brake setup on the front of a pre-84 Classic Mini. Um, the drum brakes do work as long as you keep them adjusted but they suffer from heat fade and they're generally just not as good as discs so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet what you will need is a disc brake setup from a later model so this is disc caliper CV joint uh, disc hub and a dry flange plus disc and of course a nut to go on the end now this cub set all goes together fairly easily start with your CV joint so that's got your splines and the thread and your actual joint is in underneath this boot uh, your hub you've got bearings in there always worth replacing them whenever you do any work so that will slide into there then your disc and flange will slide on top big nut goes on the outside and then the caliper can go around the disc and is secured with a couple of bolts so that's your complete disc brake hub setup uh, we're missing the steering arm here it's the same steering arm from drum to disc so we can reuse uh, what's on the car on the disc right so to remove the steering arm there's a couple of little lock tabs either side of each of these bolts so you just need to bend those down and then you can undo these two nuts and that should pop off so yeah once you've bent those tabs down you need uh, 9 sixteenths I like to use the six sided so you can't round bolts. Breaker bar, undo both nuts. And wind them out. So both nuts out and I pried it with a pry bar so that's the steering arm still connected to the rack out of the way. Uh, next, make sure you disconnect your brake hose or you won't be able to get the caliper off. This one's old, so I'm just going to cut it. So yeah, disconnected that. Then you just want to undo top ball joint and bottom ball joint. For those you'll need an 11 sixteenths for top and, bottom, top and bottom. So you don't want to remove the nut all the way, just remove them so you're at the end of the thread, protecting the thread. After you've undone the top and bottom ball joints, you want to remove your shock. That's another 9 16th nut, bottom and at the top. And then your shock should slide off pretty easily. Right, so now what we have to do is split the ball joints. I um I used one of these previous or well, this one previously and I don't know if you can see that but it just bent it so I think where these have been on for so long it's just completely seized and um so I bought this type there's a couple of different types of ball joint splitter and hopefully we have some more luck with this one Off. 
There we go. Whew, that was solid. We got the spa. That was pretty stuck on there. It's worth noting using this type of ball joint splitter you will probably damage the ball joint so always best to replace if you're wailing on it like that. And it should slide out. Uh, probably take the drive shaft with it. So there's our drum hub off the car. Let's see if we can knock the CV out of the drive shaft, or the drive shaft off the CV. So that was harder than I thought to get that out of there. But as you can see, the splines on a drum hub are the same as the splines on a disc hub, well, CV joint for a disc. So you don't need new drive shafts. You can keep your old drive shafts, that's not an issue. You just need new CV joints from the disc hub because they're different to the ones on the drum hub. You've got this lock ring on here. I'm not sure if that's focused or not, but you get the idea. There's a lock ring near the end of the splines there, and they that springs out the other side of the spline so all you have to do is hold the hub by the drive shaft in the air and just knock it with a hammer along this ring here and it will separate and it will all go at once and just yeah watch your toes <laughs> you want to fit your gator to your drive shaft slide that over and you can slide that kind of backing out the way for now then make sure you've got your splines lined up nicely on there give a little tap you should be able to feel that it's kind of clicked into place yep you can lift that so then you want to refit your preferably a new one this is going to need a new one uh, the boot goes over there and then there's a clip that goes over there and a clip that goes over into this groove here then all in one awkward hard to hold hard to maneuver thing you go in Try and position your bottom ball joint. There we go. Slot it back in. And you want to move your, get your top arm up out of the way. ball joint slotted back in so there you go reattach your steering arm to the top of the hub so now you've got to replace your lock tab washers or lock tabs and bolts that go in there and there you have it Obviously everything needs tightening up. That is a disc drum to disc conversion on Classic Mini.
happy days right thanks for watching that's the basics on how to do a drum to disc brake conversion on a classic mini what I've used to do this conversion is the disc setup from a newer classic mini it uses the 8.4 inch discs and calipers which does mean that it won't fit the majority of 10 inch wheels so you will have to change to 12 inch wheels or 13 inch wheels I've got 10 inch wheels here if I try and fit these which I've already tried they just rub on the caliper I don't know if you can hear that or not but they rub on the caliper on the inside so in the next video what I'm going to be doing is changing from this 8.4 disc setup to a 7.5 disc or 7.5 inch disc using a conversion kit from mini spares um, which is advertised as their 12 inch to 10 inch wheel uh, brake conversion so yeah well we'll talk about that in the next video but thanks for watching and cheers goodbye